Uh, thanks again for coming by, Mrs. Hogan. I really needed social services to understand what was going on around uh, here. Not at all. I certainly understand your concerns about Little Parker's future. As I said, I'd appreciate it if you put this at the top of your list. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank my, you for coming by. My pleasure. Whoa. What are you doing here? I thought you were teaching a voice lesson. It was canceled. Oh. Okay. Would you like a coffee or something? Oh, is this the part where you pretend like you're glad to see me? What? That woman was from social services. They took my baby away from me. You think I don't remember that? No, of course you... You have been playing me this whole time, haven't you? Being all nice and saying that everything's going to be okay. That was all just an act, right? You want to take Parker away from me, don't you? How many times have you met with that woman from social services? Chloe. I want to know, Philip. How long have you been going behind my back? Let's take a breath here, okay? I'm not involved in any kind of conspiracy. Don't you lie to me! Oh my God, I, I can't stay in this house. I can't take Parker with me. You said you wanted to help me. How could you betray me like this? Stop it. Stop it. Trust me. I love gonna my son. I know you do. I know you do. And nobody's going to take Parker. I don't know why you even think that. Look, I met with Mrs. Hogan to let her know that you were doing much better. That you deserved a chance to get Parker back. Really? I think I made a pretty good case that it would be healthier for Parker if he had his mom around. That we should have joint custody. But maybe that's not such a good idea. Why wouldn't it be a good idea? Chloe, if you don't trust me, we're going to have some real issues trying to raise Parker together. I do trust you. I just don't understand why you went behind my back. Oh, come on. Let's not argue. Come on. Just tell me. Fine. You're right. I did keep it from you. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I just, I didn't, I didn't know if they were going to go along with what I had to say. And I didn't want you to get your hopes up. Sometimes a bureaucracy can turn into your worst enemy. I know. Thank you. Uh, I, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but... But what? Did you ever think that maybe I don't want joint custody? I've just been on this total roller coaster lately, and now all I can think of when I wake up in the morning is... Thank God I'm alive. Thank God I still have my son with me. Everybody's pulling for you, Chloe. I know, and I'm grateful. But Victor is not one of those people, okay? I can't live here in his house. Hey, look, trust me. I don't plan on living out my life here either. But if what you're telling me is that you want me to call social services and tell them to forget about the joint custody, then... No! No, no, no. That's the last thing I want. Chloe, are you saying that you want sole custody? No, of course not. And I know that having joint custody doesn't mean that we have to live here forever. We just have to do whatever's best for Parker. We have to work together. And trust each other. I know. And that's what I'm going to do from now on. Trust. I'm really sorry what I said before, what you did for me today with social services. It was really kind. I did it for you and for Parker. I know that. And I know that you've been here for me and Parker ever since I... Look, I owe you my life. You've been my rock. And I want you to know that I do trust you. I really do. With my whole life. And Parker's. I just hope that someday you'll feel the same way about me.